She's a girl that no one ever knows. Hi guys! So today we filmed our picture day tutorial and I filmed a bunch of outfits that I thought would look really cute for pictures. And I had two hair and one makeup looks that will look awesome in your school pictures. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and keep on watching! For your clothes, focus on the top because your pants are obviously not going to be showing up in your picture. Make sure your top is simple. Don't go for anything busy or with a lot of pattern or especially not anything shiny or sparkly because that's just going to show up weird, especially if you have bright lighting. Make sure it's a color that brings out your face. And if you are using, if you're going to be wearing designs, make sure it's just a little bit like on the red shirt. It's just a little design on the top. And f for backgrounds, like let's just say you're using a neutral background for your picture, go for maybe a little bit of a brighter color. And if you're using a brighter color for your background, make sure you're wearing a, like a really neutral color. For makeup, you want to keep it simple and classic, but still have it accentuate your features. So to start off for this look, I'm going to be priming my eyelids. And then I'm going to take a taupe colored eyeshadow and apply that all over my lid with an eyeshadow brush. Next I'm going to take a medium brown shade and apply that all to my crease with a fluffy crease brush. Now taking a white gold shade, I'm going to use that as a highlight and sweep that across my brow bone. Now taking a tiny eyeliner brush and a black eyeshadow, I'm going to line my upper lash line and then wing it out a little bit. Just a little. <laughs> now I'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply mascara to my top and my bottom lashes. And here's the finished look. It's very neutral, but neutral makeup is something that's guaranteed to look good in your school pictures. So for hair, I have two looks, both featuring you wearing your hair down. I just feel like wearing your hair down looks best in pictures, but if you don't like it down, you can easily wear it up with these same looks. So right now, I'm just pulling back the top half of my hair. And then taking my fingers, I'm kind of teasing it a little bit, just to give it a little bit more volume. And then I'm pulling it back again, twisting it a few times, and then pushing it up with my fingers to create a poof. Oh, hey phone. And now I'm just pinning it with two bobby pins in an X shape. Look number one is just a basic way to keep your bangs back while still giving you a glamorous look. Now look number two is a little more complex. To start off, I'm taking a small section of hair and just sectioning off and combing it through. And now I'm taking a tiny rubber elastic and acting like I'm going to make a little ponytail. But on the last time, I'm not going to pull the hair all the way through. I'm just going to pull it halfway through to make a little bun shape. Like... Come on. Like that. Just like a little bun. Now taking the bun, I'm going to split it in half to make a bow-like shape. Then I'm going to reposition it to where I want it on my head. And then taking a bobby pin, I'm going to pin down each side of the bow. This is kind of difficult to do without a mirror. <laughs> and here's look number two. It's another cute way to keep your bangs out of your face while still looking cute. 